Okay, this is like take four today. <laughs> hey y'all, it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, and I started a video a minute ago, and got about four minutes into it, and then my AirPods started cutting in and out, so I'm like, screw this, I tossed it to the side and started over, right? Um, anyway, hey, um, I'm back. Uh, it's been a minute since I had a video on here. Um, I guess I fell into one of those pitfalls of, you know, starting the channel and got a few videos going and that kind of stuff and then kind of like got busy and put it to the side for a minute and that's not at all what I want to do. I want to continue making these. Um, I'm enjoying them. I uh, did order some new video equipment. I'll be here in a couple of days. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, just using my iPad right now. Um, but I've got a new stand and all so I can use my iPhone and, you know, some other accessories, some lighting and microphone and that kind of stuff. So um, maybe get a little bit more serious about it, right? Uh, everyone cares about quality. Um, even going to try to get my feet wet, like doing some of the editing and that kind of stuff. Um, at least trying to start learning about it anyway. I think that's uh, the road I want to go down anyway. Um, other than that, uh, all's well. Um, we're getting ready to go to the beach here in about four or five days. Yay, for like a week. Really looking forward to that. Planning on taking my video equipment uh, as well as I plan on getting Kelly on here as well. So um, I know some of you had asked about that and looking forward to that. I know from a personal standpoint, I am. Um, she's a little uneasy about it, maybe a little apprehensive because she doesn't want to see herself on video or hear herself talk. A lot of us are that way, camera shy, right? So, um, you know, when she does do that, yeah, you, you guys cheer her on because that's going to help a lot. And, you know, her coming back and back to make some more videos for all of us. Um, anyway, that said, I did want to uh, touch base real quick on something somebody commented and asked about. And I think I've said this in another video uh, a little bit, uh, but I'll try to elaborate maybe a little bit more. Or maybe there's some things I didn't say then. But they wanted to know, like, how big of an adjustment it was when I transitioned with my wife and children. Um, guys, I got to say, I, I don't know. For me at that time, um, things happened so fast and just kind of was like uh, a landslide. All of a sudden, things got to where they weren't going to stop. Um, it was a train that couldn't couldn't be stopped. And we got through it really pretty quick. Um, it was a little weird on the other side, I guess. But, you know, let me, so I guess let me try to uh, elaborate on that. Um, our children, I think children in general, the same time are a lot more accepting of um, people uh, that are transgender, are different um, than society's norms. When I grew up, the peers that I hung around with or um, children that I knew weren't as accepting of that kind of stuff because they didn't know about it. The reason being media, social media, the internet, all of that is available at our fingertips right now. So we see it every day. Our children, for the most part, see it every day. They're exposed to it at school as well. So I think it's a little bit easier for them to uh, accept a lot of that and be accepted than it was when we came along, You know, if you're older like me, right? Um, so our youngest is, uh, she's fixing to be 19. Um, our oldest is going to be 27 later this year. So they kind of fall in those categories uh, in between those ages. Um, when I told them, you know, a couple of years before I transitioned, they were fine with it. They hugged me, told me they loved me, that for me to be free, do what I need to do, and nothing that I could do was going to change their love for me. Um, that's how easy it was with our children, okay? Um, there were, there was nothing beyond that, and even when I think, I tried to explain to maybe a couple of them, like, look, you know, this is something like, you don't, you don't need to explain that to me. You do you. You you go be you, be free, be happy, live the rest of your life, be your authentic self. 
They got it. They understood. Okay. Um, so I'm not trying to be short, but that's just how it was with our children. And to this day, it's, they're still great with it. Not a problem. Um, maybe our older two, which are boys, they might not exactly understand everything, but they're accepting nonetheless. You know what I mean? Um, the, the two, uh, younger children, which are girls, uh, super accepting. They get it. They understand, you know? Um, they've asked questions and that kind of stuff and continue to uh, support me and educate themselves, of, you know, about who I am inside also. Um, my wife, I told her before we got together that this was something that I had to explore. I was able to do that uh, freely with her help. She loved me and loves me for who I am inside, not who I acted or, or pretended to be um, because that's what was expected of me. Um, listen, she knew my hurt. She knew my pain. She knew the guilt that I felt fulfilling the way that I did. Um, she pushed me into therapy. Not, not pushed me. I'm going to say, um, we both knew that was something I needed to do. She supported me in that decision. Um, I guess made sure in a loving manner, of course, that I spoke to the therapist about everything I was going through. You know, we talked a little bit about um, if I got certain things off of my chest and my therapist and was working on those. She kept me in check for those kind of things. Um, you know, not only because maybe I would forget sometimes, but also because those things were painful for me to face. And some of those things took a little bit longer to work through uh, in therapy. So she did those things all in a loving manner from a place of support and a place of uh, um, unconditional love, okay? I don't pretend to know. I don't pretend to put myself in someone else's shoes and say that I know what it's like for your spouse not to support you, not to be there for you, not to love you unconditionally, not to be on board with what you're going through. I didn't experience that. I have no experience with that. Um, I've spoken to um, a lot of transgender people who have tried to transition that have lost their entire families um, and their spouses. Their spouses set out to hurt them, make their life miserable, take things from them, turn other family members against them, and you know, even, even their own children um, decided that they were gonna take their homes from them. And you know, I'm talking about trans male and trans female. I'm not talking about just a transgender female, okay? Um, so I know, I do know those stories of how rough it can be. I, I do understand uh, how someone, you know, you've been with your spouse for 20 years and you've hidden this portion of you to come out and finally say, hey, you know, this is who I am, even though I never told you, even though I said we knew, knew everything about one another. I feel, I, I, I feel for those people and I understand how hard that must be. It's not something that I went through. I do know at one point there was a relationship with um, an ex-spouse of mine and I would expect to have lost everything in that relationship had I told them who I was inside, what who I was as my authentic self. I would have expected that. So you know what? What I did was I chose not to do that. I chose to put living as me in my life. I chose to put that on hold. And um, that wasn't 
fair to me, but it's what I felt was the right decision for my family at that time. I don't know that there's a right and wrong way to go about any of this. I'd say sometimes you just have to um, go about with what's going to work best for you in your situation at that time. Good thing is, now, I don't have to worry about any of that. It's over. It's done with. Um, I'm me for almost two years now. Um, socially, medically, legally, you know, I'm out of work. Everything's fantastic. I am one extremely happy trans woman. And I'm very proud to be a trans woman. That's who I am. And I'm proud to be that person, to be honest. Um, I have a different outlook on my life and what my life was meant to be now that I've transitioned. Um, probably rambled a little bit and got off topic, but I guess to get back to the children were fine. My spouse was fine. I think the biggest thing that Kelly and I really experienced, the worst part of it was when the rubber did beat the road, I actually said, hey, you know, I'm calling work. I'm gonna let them know I need to transition. And I spoke to my manager about it at work, and met with him. I remember her texts were, you know, she was so glad I was doing this and, you know, good luck today extremely supportive behind me, 110%. Um, even though she knew that as I transitioned, that she was going to have to face the reality that I was transitioning. Us talking about it, not really having a time frame set for it, and then me actually doing it there in the end, I think both of us stepped back and took a deep breath. Um, it wasn't that we didn't love each other and didn't support one another. It wasn't that we weren't there for one another. It was that what I was going through was scary. And guess what? What she was going through was scary too. Even though after all of that, we couldn't imagine a better life for ourselves. Excuse me, y'all didn't think again. We could imagine a better life for ourselves now that we've done all this. Um, it was just that after that, I think it was a little exhausting. We both needed a deep breath. And I'm not talking about separation. I'm talking about not talking about transitioning. I'm talking about being to ourselves, into our thoughts, and thinking about like, wow, this is reality, this just really hit. This has happened, this isn't a dream anymore. It's not something we're just talking about. That's what I mean. Um, that, that took, I'm gonna say six months, but if I really think hard about it, it probably took about a year for all of that to really clear up to where um, it wasn't that she was never okay with being me, but you have to understand that it's, I'm, I'm not judging her, she's not judging me. Other people are judging who we are. Um, our so-called friends, so-called supporters, so-called family, um, the ones that said that they were there for us, but found out that they couldn't be there for us in the end, that they were incapable. Um, maybe they weren't as strong as they thought they were. It's okay, you know, that happens. But um, that being said, it took a minute for all that to kind of shake loose to where um, we were extremely happy with who we were. Met a lot of new friends. Um, still had old friends that supported us. And old friends that, like I said, thought they could and just couldn't, I guess. But... Um, it just wasn't that difficult with us. And I know the 
big reason is because of communication. Um, we constantly talked about our feelings um, for several years while I was on hormone therapy leading up to transitioning and going um, being in gender therapy for about six years. Um, we constantly communicated about these things and if it wasn't every day, it was weekly. I mean, there wasn't a week that went by that we didn't talk about it, that I didn't cry and be upset that I knew it was something I was going to have to do and that she didn't, she didn't cry and wasn't upset because she knew it was something I was going to have to do. But she was going through her own transition, you know? This wasn't just me. It was our whole family that had to deal with this. Um, and the ones that chose to be a part as far as our external family, you know, not just us and the kids, but, you know, in-laws and that kind of thing, the ones that chose to be a part of it, it was a transition for them too. Um, there were some that decided that they couldn't, they couldn't do it, um, that they weren't as strong as they thought, uh, that maybe they thought they were signing up for something else. Hell, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I, I, I really don't, but I don't know, I'm rambling now, but I guess to sum it up, things just weren't that difficult for me. I do know with my family, you know, with, with my spouse and my children, um, I do know that constantly communicating with my spouse was the key. I do know that telling my children long before I transitioned was paramount. Um, being there to answer questions to any of them at any time and to speak freely and openly and honestly about who I was, it was okay for me. You know, some, some people may say, well, you know, my children have not seen me cry or that kind of stuff. Listen, my children have seen me bawl. Um, I was not afraid to show my emotions to them and let them know who I was, who I am, and to show those true feelings. Um, I think it's important and things work both ways. So anyway, um, guys, I hope that answers a little bit. Just wanted to kind of um, stop in and give a quick video. Uh, what, almost 18 minutes now, right? <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, and your respectful comments are always welcome. Um, if you have any questions, put those in there. Um, I'd be happy to try to answer those, as well as if you have thoughts on a future video on something you might like to see, uh, put that in there and, you know, let's uh, get on board with this together and uh, try to create a channel here that um, may be entertaining, will help answer some question, questions. Um, it's also fun for, for me to do and you guys to watch, right? That's what YouTube's all about. So anyway, um, Thank you guys for watching. Um, take care of yourselves. Peace. And uh, probably the next time I'll see you guys will be from the beach. Take care. Bye.